to share a what I consider is an old skill that is not really utilized as much anymore, or I don't think it is. I'll put it that way. Um, but I think it's a, a good skill. But before I do, I also wanted to let you know, um, I am working on trying to get some pie recipes together. I'm thinking I'm probably going to hit about four at, at first. It may be more. I don't know. I'm just kind of going to see how it goes as I go because there's so many different ones. And I've actually had a lot of uh, viewers that have mentioned pies that they had when they were younger. And stuff like that that sounds really good and it's so hard to decide what to do so I think is what I'm going to do is depending on the history I find behind different ones uh, you know things that's really interesting when it comes to history and then one of my favorites and the one that is my favorite is a vinegar pie and I've actually got a little story not much of a story but a little bit of a story behind it for myself plus uh, the history that I find concerning it and I actually had made one last week when I sent that video out and I messed up I got to look I should have made the one I'm used to making but I got to looking and trying to read up on history and stuff and I found a recipe for it that was different than mine I thought boy that sounds good well it wasn't the right recipe for sure it wasn't that it tasted bad it was actually super sweet uh, but it didn't thicken up like it was supposed to, which I doctored it up and put some cornstarch in it and stuff like that and made it work. But uh, I should have just went with what I knew. But um, anyway, so I will be doing that. And I've also got plenty of other herbs coming up. Some I've already been shooting so that I'll have them as weather gets worse or whatever. And then some of them are just now beginning to bloom and stuff. So that's why... I want to get those when they're in bloom and all that kind of good stuff. But um, we're going forward. Anyways, God bless you guys. And I hope you enjoy this clip. Hey guys. Um, today I want to talk to you about a skill that people may or may not do now. I don't know. You don't really hear anything about it, but I don't know why you would. But it's making beds. And, you know, that's something that growing up, we was taught how to make a bed. And uh, we we had to make our beds most of the time. I mean, there was times I can remember we didn't have to, but for the most part, we had to make our beds. And to me, that teaches a child discipline, uh, respect, and, you know, builds their character, creates integrity in them, I feel like. This is my opinion. And that's why I want to show this, because it may not be, but it seems to me like it's an old skill that is not taught anymore. And, you know, I taught my kids how to make beds. I didn't always make them make the beds exactly like I want to show you today. You know, usually they would just throw it up. And maybe I should have been more disciplined. I think, you know, with our generations, we've gradually got away from things and... Maybe we shouldn't have. Um, I don't know. It's it's just kind of sad to me. But anyway, I want to I want to do this, and I would like you know want to hear what other people's opinions are about it. To me, I think it's a very, very, very cool thing. I like to make my bed. I like to do it a certain way, and uh, I want to show you how I do mine. And it's not the written in stone way by no means. So please don't take it that way. Because I don't tuck my bed corners in on the bottom and fold them under and tick them under the mattress because I don't like that. I would kick it out at night, so I just don't even bother even doing that. But I was taught to do that as well. But anyway, let's get on with it here. Okay, I pulled this all back and threw my pillows down here. And I'm going to take my fitted sheet. You know, I wonder if people even realize what a fitted sheet and a flat sheet is anymore. I don't know. They may. And I make sure it's flattened out and smoothed out good. Then I'll take my flat sheet, pull it up. I'm not completely stripping this bed, I know, but I think it'll give the idea. And I'll fold it down. And this is just how I like to do it. 
gonna take my pillow and I'll stick it over top of that. I'm gonna do the other side. My um, one of my son-in-laws is a Marine, and when he was in boot camp. He would come in on leave and stuff like that, and he would, uh, he was taught in boot camp how to fold toilet paper a certain way after you use the bathroom, and he'd done that at the house. He told us about it, and he'd done that at the house, and I just loved it. I thought that was just the coolest thing, and no, I don't do that all the time now, but, um, so every time he would come in for leave or whatever, he would fold the toilet paper like that because he knew it just tickled me to to see that. But to me, that was teaching him such discipline and, and integrity, you know, in the military. They're taught how to make beds a certain way. They're taught how to do things a certain way. And it builds character in them. And, you know, to me, it's just a, and I'm, I'm the pot calling the kettle black because I need to teach my grandkids more than I teach them. But, uh, you know, these are things that I think are important. I really do. Okay, I've got this bit of sheet laid back. Now I'm going to take, now I like these old bed spreads. I found, well, I don't know if I found this one at the thrift store or not, but sometimes you can find them at the thrift store. Some of them I've inherited like from my husband's mom and stuff like that. But um, then I take my bed spread and I like a bed spread because it goes all the way to the ground on both sides. And that's just me. To me, in the summer, this is a, just a sheet and this is great. And then in the winter, put a blanket in between it. And to me, that's a perfect bed. Then I'm going to take and put it to the top. You'll probably be able to see me better on the other side. And the excess, I'm going to push up under the pillow. So let me do that other side. I think you'll be able to see me better. Sorry. I like to make sure. I like these bedspreads too because they got lines so you can kind of tell if you're straight or not too. Like I said, take this up over to the top and then take your excess and tuck it up underneath there. Now I was also taught to fold this down and to lay your pillow across the edge of it and then pull it up. And that's fine too. There's no... Like I said, there's no set in stone way to make a bed. This is just how I like to do it. Sorry, I gotta fix that. My mess up. And yet, like I said, a room can be messy otherwise, but you can have a bed made and it just feels better. Now, I like to take, I've got these couple throw pillows. I like to take and throw them in there. And then I have a throw that I like to add to the bottom of the bed just in case somebody has a little bit chillier night than they thought and it's there. Now simple maybe silly to some but I think this is a lost art and I think it's a skill that me myself I need to teach those that come into my sphere of influence better. But anyway, I'd like to hear your comments on this and what you think about it. I just think it's a cool thing to do. But anyway, God bless you guys. Thank you for watching and until next time.